Hello, my name is Matthew Valdez, and I'm here to talk about student loans. So, uh, how much do you think the government spends on student loans every single year? Give a guess, one person. Shout it out. Billion. 40 billion. 40 billion. Close, but no cigar. About 100 billion every single year. Now, how much does it get back every single year? Does anybody know? 1.6 billion dollars. That is a low return. <clears throat> now, why is this important? Now, that is important because it is driving up the cost of college. And this affects you because you guys are in college. You're probably going to go to university in the next one to two years. And it's also driving up the national debt. So, um, I come to you as a student because I come to you as a student because I know you get. I come to you as a student knowing about student loans and knowing about how student loans affected people. I've seen uh, family members ruined by this. Uh, they lost their everything because they couldn't pay them back. Um, and I also have about a year in studying student loans. It started back in 2016. Now, a solution to this would be to get rid of it. Big idea right there. Now, I want to ask you another question. How many of you have credit cards? Just raise your hand. Good enough. Now, let's say I took away your credit card and you had to spend the money that's only in your bank account. Would you spend frivolously? Frivolously. is because you do not have an avenue of debt. If you don't have a credit card, you're not going to spend the money that you don't have. At least you shouldn't. Uh, that, that's a real simple, real simple solution, right? Well, getting rid of student loans will mean less people are going to be in debt. It's uh, <clears throat> the inability to get a student loan would, with a high interest rate would uh, mean you don't have to pay that back. And the lowest interest rate being at about just under 4%. And the average uh, payback is 10 years. Now, <clears throat> that's according to uh, NerdWallet, their website. The average student gets, leaves college with about $25,000 in student loans. And of course, over 10 years, that breaks down to about $280 a month. Now, you might think $280, I probably make that one page up, probably. But that's on top of everything else you're going to be paying. Usually, people out of college get a house, probably move in with someone else, get a car or something. You're stacking this on top of bills that you already have. So that is probably a make or break moment. <clears throat> now, if I said I could give you each $100 to spend on a meal, every single meal, for every single day. How many of you would spend on the highest thing you can, you can find? How many of you would go to Fleming's? Of course not, because you're thinking. But <laughs> <laughs> I sure would. I'd spend them about 100 bucks real fast. I, I don't care, because I'm going to get every single meal. I'm going to spend on anything. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's say I took that $100 away. I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to go out. I'm probably going to go out once a week. I'm going to spend $60 once a week instead of $300 every single day. That's crazy, isn't it? So, um, next slide, please. Student loans do make college uh, cost more. It's basic economics. Um, if you have a high demand, which there is, everybody needs to go to college because everybody needs that high paying job. Colleges can hike up their prices, and the government is going to give out those student loans to anybody that wants them because they need to go to college to get that high paying job. It's a catch 22 statement right there. <clears throat> so basically, colleges have a blank check to, for, from the government. And so, and 
colleges raise the prices because the government is going to give more money. <clears throat> Now let's go back to another question. If I had, if I gave you each a thousand dollars every single week to uh, to buy anything, anything at all, every single week, how many of you would spend that money? Of course not, because you're smart. Thank you. I would buy three televisions every single week. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, just, I can. I do that. I have money to that's burning a hole in my pocket. I'd spend it. But, let's say, I take away that thousand dollars. Not buying three televisions every single week. I'm gonna save my money like hell to buy a 10 inch flat screen, I don't know. I'm not spending my money on anything. But, that, if that money's taken away, you're gonna stop spending. That's the point. Next slide, please. <clears throat> it's the same with colleges. They get a ton of money from every single student. A ton. And they can spend it on anything that they want, whether it's 12 deans at a single college. Who needs 12 deans? That college, because they have more hands in front of them. <clears throat> now, if you cut off that, uh, that avenue of that income, <clears throat> They're going to only spend it on practical things. This is called a return on investment. If you don't have money to burn, you're going to only buy the things that you can uh, get a high return on. That makes sense. Now, non-practical degrees like underwater basket weaving, that's going to be dropped. Stuff like uh, math is going to be pushed. Seven minutes. Darn it.